it's lunchtime and the mail just came so let's open it together put on my glasses so I can read everything so I opened this box last year and I got a, a notebook in it that I loved and I thought I should get another one before they are gone forever. Bad news for me, they're gone forever. So then I thought, well, clearly I need to find another notebook that I like as much. So I placed an order. Or two. This is from Nanami Paper Supply. I got two notebooks from them. This is their Crossfield journal. Nice, it comes in like a little slip case. Smells like turpentine. <laughs> this is lovely. Um, I think I'm gonna like this. So instead of my usual dot grid, the pages are with tiny little crosses. Without these glasses on, they would look like dots. And then this is their writer. Come on. Why you be like this? Okay. And also slipcase. This one smells differently, but equally like stuff. So this has a seven millimeter lining. I wasn't sure how I would like that because I tend to usually go for like college ruled paper and seven millimeter is more like wide rule. But this paper seems really nice. It's cream, which is a negative, but I knew that when buying it. So I'm excited to try these out. This one is obviously black. The other one is a beautiful sort of wine color. And we know I like that. And then So this paper in these books is the paper that I like that is basically no longer available forever, I think, uh, and the internet thinks too. So I thought, well, I better try out some other paper. I pretty much have to. Because what if I can't, you know, those are going to cease to exist one day. So I should try some of the replacements for it. See how I like it.
for science. I've been writing in uh, my the other notebook a lot, like pages a day. So, man, this tape looks really neat. So I got three notebooks. Oh, I got here a converter for my little Caveco sport. In case I don't feel like refilling uh, the things with a syringe. So this is Tomoe River Noto, I think it says. Yes. Or maybe it's his tonsil. No, that's his toe. So, this is bigger than I expected. That's fine. Uh, taller and thinner. It did say how many sheets there were. Did it? Maybe it didn't. Um, look, I don't think I read the listing for this very well. It's a very thin notebook with not many pages, but it'll be nice. I'll put ink in it. The outside paper is so smooth, it's almost disconcerting. And then I got a, uh, is this Kokio? Kokio Compass notebook, because I've heard the paper, and this is really nice. This is lined. It includes, like, you can put a page number and a date on it, so that's pretty cool. This does feel quite soft and, and lovely. And then I got this one which is the um, the Yamamoto, this is, the paper's called Cosmo Air Light, I believe. It says on the front. Yes. And, um, by the way, I am doing this with the, opening the book this way, because this is how you're supposed to do this. You know, this is not lined, and I suppose some part of me had to have known that, but I'm a dork. I always prefer lines on my paper. However, this does come with, like, a shitajiki type thing, which is a pencil board, and it has lines and grid, and you can put this underneath the paper that you're writing on and see it through it. So this paper is thicker than what I've been using, but it still seems nice. So those are my notebooks, and I have one more over there. We'll sample them together this week. What is my hair doing these days? Well, whatever. Um, if you think that's all I bought from this store, hold on. Because I also got some ink. There's this uh, ink company uh, from South Korea called Colorverse. And I have one of their inks, and I mostly like it. The color is um, a bit pale, but that's my fault. The ink itself is nice. So then I got this. The Korea Space Launch. So this is the one ink I got. It's KSLV2. And then it also comes with a bottle of this 75T rocket engine. So let's open this. It shows scissors, but I'm going to use a knife. Hopefully that, that's okay. Worked fine. Ooh, so we open it. Look at that. It's got like solar system. This says special edition. That shows the inks. Then it comes with this stuff, which is like a bookmark and a pen stand and some stickers and then like a little napkin. And there's that. Let me lift that up. That comes out. And then there's that. 
And then the little ink bottles. So here's the Wee ink. This is, I think, 15 milliliters. Yep, that's what it says. And this is the 75T rocket engine, which is a gray. And then the big boy, which I believe is 65 milliliters, yep, which is this kind of blue-black. So I'm excited about those, as one might imagine. But wait, is that all you got, Maria? Nay. Nay. Look. I really like German engineering, okay? My car is German. Some of my pens are German. And... That's continuing right now with this. I got another pin by Lamy. It's got, let's take off this like tissue paper. Here's this Lamy, made in Germany. Mm -hmm. I have a pen, this little thing, some paperworks. Let's look at the pen. Oh, yeah. This has a nice heft. Look at that clip. Bauhaus design. I know this because the internet told me, but look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. My new Lamy. This is made out of Macrolon, which is just a type of plastic as far as I can tell. But it's special plastic. So that's all my stuff. This, These orders were, that first one was Nanami Paper Co. The second one was from Jet Pins, which is probably my favorite place to get any sort of it is my favorite place to get any sort of Japanese um, writing stationary supplies. Let me put it that way. Yeah, stationary supplies. And so uh, those the notebooks I got from Jet Pins are all Japanese, I think. Kokuyo. Yeah, these are Japanese. Uh, the pen is German. So, man, look at that. Uh, I'm going to go, uh, I got a new pin. So you know what that means. And I got new ink. And I got new notebooks. Yeah. I'm going to go play with some ink and notebooks. I uh, hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, though I doubt anybody will.